How's it going guys? It's Poetry Sud and welcome to the welcome back to the multiplayer mini campaign for you guys. Hopefully it's just been a day since when you watched the last CK2 video. We're now oh, in boy. EU4, Europe Universalis 4. Um and what a crazy fucking world it is. <laughs> yeah, so as you can tell, Central Europe is a mess. The HRE rather is a yeah. mess. Um yeah. Which makes it's a bit blobbier sense. than maybe you're used to seeing. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I mean, like, Italy looks kind of like normal. Uh, I Italy's don't know. Fucked up. Yeah, it's well, it's, it's not, but it's always fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So we we spend about twenty thirty minutes yeah. before recording, looking at what's going on. So... I mean, the the things that are most close to like reality are like Hungary is decent. Poland mm -hmm. is decent. Denmark is decent. Sweden, Norway. Yeah, Hungary, um, Hungary and Poland both a little more east than... <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> than usual. Hungary actually owns uh, Crimea and, like, Theodoro and stuff, too. Mm -hmm. um, oh, does it, like, do any sort of stuff with, like, dynamic trade stuff? No, uh, I don't think so. No, I don't Oh, yeah, it does. think so. It does. Oh, my God. What? Oh, okay. Naples and Rome this. are... Coastal centers of trade. What? That's so weird. Is Rome not usually? No, no. Rome is, uh, and neither is Naples. The hmm. okay. So like, let's just look at the Genoa node as an example. Normally, uh, Barcelona is a coastal trade center. I'm pissed that it's not. Um, so is, I think Tarragona is normally an estuary. I think the estuaries are probably the same because that you know rivers didn't really move. Um, and. Uh, Provence normally is what it has now. Languedoc is normally not a coastal center of trade. Genoa normally is a coastal center of trade. And then Ferenz is an inland center of trade, and it's not. I don't understand. Venice I'm looking at is... my traders, right? Yeah. My main trading port is, um, what is this? Saxony. One okay. of my traders is transferring money to Saxony. Good. The other trader is, for some reason unknown to me, directing trade out of the Rhineland, hmm. which doesn't feed into Saxony at all. There so is upstream moving. trade, and that's probably what the game was thinking, but mm. I would... So, like, he is doing stuff for you, but he's probably not doing as much as he would elsewhere, I would agree. Because, mm. um, like, even trade if... Trade power. I, I think it probably defaulted to that since you own a bunch of land there, so it was like, oh, we have trade power here, might as well. Oh yeah, tra tra transfers for traders downstream. I yep. get three point five trade power from him. Yeah, it's a little. I'd rather you just weird, like, but yeah, transferred money to this trade node though. So yeah, so it's so let's just say um, you know it's uh, down. so if you guys don't know, CK two is is Jack's uh, specialty. He's yeah, I'm much better and... at CK two because I play stopped playing EU four, like, regularly. Yeah, a lot of DLCs ago. And and I have uh, stuck with C, uh, with EU4, although I do play CK2 fairly often. So this is an, so now we're in a territory where I feel a little more comfortable. Although yeah. I would say both of us, um, I think both of us grasp the games, both games fairly well. So I don't yeah, think it's, it's not really. I have an okay understanding of EU4. Yeah, I'm, my big problem with EU4 is typically that I'm way too aggressive, mm -hmm. and I get murdered by coalitions. Yeah, no, I so. completely understand that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some like diplomatic actions, securing yes, alliances. Same, we won't unpause so. just yet. But uh, the right. last thing I'll point out is um, over here we have Mongolia right next to Mongol Mongolia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's... Some some other important things to point out. The Aztecs, of course, exist. Um, oh yeah. They control a lot of land. They are the second biggest development nation in the world. Um, second Ming. only to to Ming, yeah. who has which is a hundred. Default. 10 more development than them. Beyond so, that, um, we cheated and looked at the new world. It's yeah. it's awful. It's bad. And it's it's what you would expect from a concert, converted CK2 game with... Um, what, are, what do you call it? Aztec Invasion. Sunset Invasion. Yeah. Um, also important to note, I am the Emperor still. And it's a super good thing that at the end of that series, uh, in CK2 anyway, I was revoking all those counties because... If I hadn't done that, I probably would have come into this game with just Aachen, and I would have had a really sad time. So I'm yeah. happy that I did what I did. Um, but um, Denmark is also in the Empire, and they're huge. They have like 400 development or something. 
So all of the electors want to vote for them. Yep. So my task is to make the electors love me instead, which means I'm going to Royal Mary and, as many uh, of them as I can. The last, uh, well, there's a couple other things too. Culture map mode is something I pay attention to more than most people probably do, mm. uh, but it is uh, it's very basically a non-issue in this game. Yeah, so like it basically it's just cons cultures are more consolidated, which is kind of yeah. funny, but um, because you think the opposite. But um, there's Italian and all of Italy. Uh, except there's some German. German in all of the HRE. Polish in all of that area. Um, oh my god, Estonian. I, you know, once you... Oh god, Russian though. Holy cow, I didn't realize Russian was that big. Uh, but either way, um, hmm. there's, uh, there's oh. a whole bunch of... It, it makes it easier for people yeah. that, to conquer and like incorporate like, other cultures easier. CK2 doesn't have much culture variety, yeah. unfortunately. And it's also like really... Because it's automatic, the culture drift, mm -hmm. you know? It's hard it, to, like, break free from that trend. Yeah. Yeah, what, yeah that's actually one of the things that I, I don't like about CQ, but it's, like, not that... It's like, not really, I, like, that bad, so... But at the same time, I understand kind of the fact that, like, you don't have a thousand different German cultures in 769. Yeah. Um. By the way, did your... Did your trade your money did it like how much money do you have Whew. i have 379 okay it did, did it like i think it must have like transferred over the money but like accounted for inflation i don't know like it, it reduced it, it but it doesn't what yeah it's not going to start you with 5000 gold but i do have 600 so that's good like if you had 5000 <laughs> gold you could ignore your economy for years yeah but even 600 you could probably uh, yeah, well I've, yeah i don't know i have like 380 and i'm making a balance of 3.73. I'm I'm pleased with my finances, let's just say that. Um so my natural rivals are Denmark, Byzantium and France. They are the people who have rivaled. That's me. same here. And that's Honestly, weird. Honestly, I don't mind <laughs> rivaling exactly those people. I Denmark. actually so I probably will rival Byzantium, but right now I'm rivaled to France, Castile and Leon. But Denmark and Byzantium also rivaled me and it's probably due to the land, the fact that we have lands that are near each other, you know, because of yeah. weird stuff. Um, also, I probably will be attacking some princes at some point. I hope you're okay uh, with that. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. I know. Um, you have you have like all of Andalusia to fight back for. I do, but I have a lot of other plans <laughs> first. I won't be attacking princes anytime soon. I got to consolidate Spain. But um, well, so just a reminder: the princes include Sicily, Salerno, yeah. Pope. It includes Cora, everyone Custom, that I want Cora, to expand to. <laughs> province, Genoa. I, I probably won't be attacking a lot of people, but I probably will be trying to take at least Naples and Provence for the trade. So I'm just going to warn you at some point that's going to happen. Um, for now, though, you ready to go ahead and unpause? I think so. Okay. Let's um, maybe speed two for a bit while we yes. sort out all of our you know marriages and all that. Yes. And the other thing is um, disputed succession. There's going to be a whole bunch of, bunch yeah. of that. So, right. yeah. so Savoy is an elector, as, as I was discussing with poetry a bit oh frozen maybe uh just Three. give it a sec oh. it, 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 it fixed itself yeah it'll probably take a little bit of time to get used to it that's okay um, so savoy is an elector and they're my dynasty and i would very much like for them to you know yeah unfortunately i wasn't nearly as good about actually getting my dynasty on other titles so i'm not gonna have that as an option but dude it just happened for the yeah. most part like Jack i sent my went family all out Austria there on them <laughs> i sent my family out there and they just fucking did their thing now um, i can't claim savoy's throne because we both started with 100 prestige and mm. we're decaying at about the same rate oh that's weird Ooh, i started with 100 too that's right i can claim their throne it worked out a little differently i'm they probably... definitely claiming their throne who wait but, who yeah. savoy hmm they're the people I want to poo with, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, let's see, I wanted to marry Bohemia, I uh, Your ruler is good, by the way, right? Yes, 5-4. He's a 5-4-4. Four, four. My and... dude is a 1-3-2, which is, yeah. Let's see, you who know. are the other electors? It's not terrible. It's wor it could be worse, but. Ugh. Let's see, Austria. La Mancha. Alliance. Bohemia. Um, also, though, Alliance. hey, yes. apparently the Aztecs are now Nahuatl again, mm -hmm. because I guess... Yeah, it... the the converter forces that. Yeah. Oh, God, the game is, like, a or... little bit... 
Okay, we're yeah, good. Yeah, I've noticed. I've noticed. It's, it's moving slow. Well, it's only on speed one. I think. Right, but I mean, yeah. like, it's hanging a little bit here and there. Yeah, it will be good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What is this? Alliance offer from Bohemia. Don't mind if I do. An 8 3 there. And an 8 I 2 do. there. So, yeah, so, like, I would say that I am more accustomed to UF4 than CK2, but I don't think Jack has any, like, uh, he's going to be able to hold up. I'll be Just okay fine. because I'm starting in a really strong position, I think. Yeah, and I, I think it helps also that you know exactly what's going on. Even though, like, you, you know, we've been playing this game already for um, quite a few years. It just wasn't in this game. <laughs> right. You know, so we kind of know who the powers are, even oh. if they're a little bit different. Right, exactly. So I'm going to pause for a moment and look at this void. We're in the I Can Declare War realm. Wait, wait, wait. Twice is so like... So if I take the throne so let's see claim on throne war goals take capital province what happens if I win we have claimed our right to their throne what happens if I win uh oh you haven't played this game a while, personal, have you? I can <laughs> form a personal union it says yeah so 100%. like it's an 140 percent cost for forming a personal union what does that mean does that mean it would potentially be impossible for me to form it uh like let me see. Let me look. Uh, is it like 138% is what it says? No, it says 100% aggressive expansion, 200% prestige, and 140% cost. Oh, that means it would be a... It's more expensive. 40% cost. It's normally 60. You should still be able to do it, I believe. A forced union is 60 war score, I do believe. Vassalization scales, but por uh, personal oh, okay, unions Okay, I get are... it. So then it would just be... 40% of 60 is... I failed at math in the fly. It's um, it's it's like, gonna be like a hundred percent war score basically. Basically, yeah. So keep in mind, um, would you support me in this war? Me? Uh huh. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't think I can. It doesn't really help me out, especially since Savoy is like, you know, in my I mean, grill. I'm not afraid of their allies, really. Let's see, Upper Lorraine, also my dynasty, and Swabia, not my dynasty, but. I can't see them on the map at a glance. Oh no, there they are. Swabia is a three province, three province minor. They own Ulm though. Oh, You're gonna home. lose stay of yeah. Ulm. Uh, and then Upper Lorraine. Just watch out. Remember no, Condottieri. Fucking... Yeah. Condottieri. I will say that. Um, but um, I mean, like, what's your army size? Like thirty. Uh, twenty-nine. Yeah, you like you should be fine. Just take out Upper Lorraine first, and then you know go start with the weakest link. You know. Where is Upper Lorraine? Is the problem. Upper Lorraine is right next to the province I own, Baroy. Oh, they're okay. in Lothringen. Which they're is the right... green ones. No, that's Luxembourg. No, they're like a dark gray next to my province near France's oh, border. Oh, so I have to go that way anyway. Yeah, they're all down in that direction. Um, I mean, I think you'll probably find in that, but Savoy, they are decently powerful, aren't they? Let's see. They're not as powerful as me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The, the oh, only yeah, reason no, that, I'm, that I'm doing this is because they're... Their king is 26. So like he's going to get an heir. I think you'll probably be good. Just be careful. You probably would be good even for aggressive expansion. But the aggressive expansion does get a little bit insane in the HRE. So keep that in mind. Yeah. But well, I, I don't know. Like, I do think it's probably take any worth provinces. it. I just want yeah. I, I mean, want yeah, I'll leave it up to, to your to your. It's your decision. Uh, it's your life. Do whatever you want to do. Take capital. Um, so just make sure I have the right... Thing. Confirm. Uh, I'll lose one stability. That's okay, honestly. Yeah, no, I agree. Some, it's worth it for, um, for like someone like that. I agree. Like, I had to take the marriage to like yeah. do the exactly. CB, so... Oh, Ooh, I should... You know, oh, get, hey, yeah, we should, should also... Give me a second to mess with the estates. I'm not looking at that shit right now. Yo, it's so good. You get free points every pretty often. There's oh, this game is so no loud. Downside. Let me turn this shit down. Game options, audio. Boom, Master. free points. Boom, free points. Boom, free right. points. Oh, I'm I could have got... I'm an idiot. States. I'm an idiot. So you know what? Burgers. I lost... I, lost I could get money. Or I could... Your money or your life. So just 30 ducats? I'm not really interested in that. 
I mean, it's like free uh, though, unless free admin. But like, I have three hundred eighty gold. Yeah, I'll take bro. the admin power though. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Wait, let me. <laughs> how do I undo this? You can't. I have to pay them, right? Uh, no. They each have their own different options. So I like, know. I'm looking at. The... So do you want me to like tell you my? I do like. I, I need them the to gain thing. twenty loyalty. That's gonna be hard. Um, you have to either give them land. Uh, if you give them land, then they might get too much influence. Ooh, What's their influence seek, at? Seek support, gain 10 influence, and then yeah. I can make a donation and they don't gain any influence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh no, I only they only need to be at 45 and they're not 40. disloyal. Perfect. It's 40, yeah. Yes. Perfect. 40 or below is disloyal, 40 above. Um, mm. But I mean, I can go into more detail, but let's we can do that on the fly. Just and you, you and pause whenever you're ready, and I think I'm mostly yeah, good to go. I also mm. do have a vassal of Gascon or Gascony, whatever it's Gascony, I believe. I believe um, it's Gascony. Yeah, I think it's right. And then my first general is a one two two one. That's not bad. <laughs> it's actually like having siege at the, like this early seems pretty good, right? Uh, yeah. See, well, siege is always good, but uh, especially in the early. But game. especially this early. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, especially if it's more than one. That's like okay. above average. So... Um, let's come over here. We're unpaused. Yep, this is correct. And there's a Swabian army running away from me already. Yeah, go wipe that out. Because um, what you want to do is you want to murder them all in small stacks before they group up. Like CK2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, there's a big this? stack of 19. An offer in... to rent Condottieri. Accepted, Austria. Accepted. For the cost of 5.71 a month? That's uh, not too bad. Especially because yeah, like... they'll do their own thing. You know, I can't quite imagine. afford it, but like, I can't. <laughs> You know? Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Aztecs, do you like me? <laughs> Aztecs, do you like me, please? Can I wonder, can they convert any of this Catholic land, the Aztecs? Can when are you gonna be there? Convert any of this land? Okay. Portugal is unsettling me. Cause like I think it, I don't know if this is right. It might be me being crazy, but it feel like they're a different color green. I, I think I'm they're have to, crazy. I think they are. I'm going to have to pause more often during war in, in this game because mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, familiar with no everything. No problem. Yeah, so, ask any questions if you have any doubts. Because, like, I may not be actually good at this game, but I do understand most of it. <laughs> so I could attack her here because it's on a river crossing. Um. Oh, Your you know about... Are one, one, you one. know about forts, right? Like, forts being one, defensive now? Three. Yes. Yeah, so be careful. There are no <laughs> forts over here. Well, there's but, a fort that I'm standing in, but it's not across a river, so whatever. Yeah. And, and like, yeah, it can trick you up uh, because, like, if they occupy one of your forts, they still get to it, and you're sieging it right. back, and they attack you, you're going to get the penalty. Yep. So you got to be careful. Like, anything... Stuff like that happens. <laughs> oh god, I didn't realize that Safoy owned land up near you, too. Yeah, they do. That's why I sieged it. Yeah. Okay, um, first battle. Let's see how it goes. I think I'm winning. It looks like I'm winning. I mean, like, if you um, have... Yeah. Mm, I should be winning. I have... They have more morale than I do. That's mm. irritating. I'm probably gonna lose now, because they're reinforcing. <laughs> I did lose. That's irritating. Yeah, you just gotta be it's careful. Actually, like, yeah, be careful. I'm telling you. Across the river. Oh, I would. More than what I, I, I would have. recommend is, let's see. Oh, but that's woods. I'm looking. I would say your best uh, plan for action would be go siege down Wartenberg in right next to Ulm. That's, well, that's what I was doing, and they okay. moved a big army near me. Mm, okay, I would have just sat there and kept sieging, because uh, the thing is, if you get that siege down, it's a level one fort, which means it's. Uh, very it's a level one fort so it's fairly uh easy to siege you know not only that when you siege it that's gonna that's their only fort for swabia yeah. so they would instantly peace out for like all their money and more if well, you wanted so austria is sieging them so that's good don't worry people on my end we're going to war soon tonight we war oh my it's my life. Do it that I Man, wanna do. morale comes back way faster in CK2. Because it comes yeah. back, like, yeah. weekly and shit. Oh, just you wait. It gets even worse in the late game of this game, because morale, like, triples by the end. 
Um, it's like, well, it doesn't triple, but it's triple of what it was is, is now. Obviously, compared to other people, hopefully... Oh, Aztecs declared on Wessex is their first choice. One province minor? Cool. I'm curious... Oh, God, but France was defending! France is gonna fight the Aztecs! Hell yeah! Nice. That's really good. France is powerful, right? <laughs> Why... Like... Yeah, France is still they powerful. They have more morale than I do. By 0.4, that's ridiculous. Wait, you said the Aztecs have 900 development. They definitely have like 1,100. They have 1,100 now. Well, something changed. <laughs> they, you know, I'm not going to question it. I, I just really don't understand why they have so much more morale than I do. Uh, how much more? 0.4. Whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot. I would say, if that's the case, don't attack them, like, ever. Just defend. Um, There's a... We lost our claim? What do you mean? <laughs> that's weird. That is weird, because I'm, like, at war. Oh, oh that's fine. Right oh, you lost your claim to the throne. No, don't worry to about the that. the throne. You can yeah. still... You can just murder their heir. Don't worry. That's how I like to think of it. No, it doesn't make a difference. Don't worry. Okay. As long as you declare the war before... Yes, precisely. So that's even more of a good reason why you did declare the war, if you win, at least. Okay. <laughs> well, Austria's got 14k troops helping out, so... Yeah, that's good. But yeah, again, I think your best option is to just siege down the smaller people. Right now, I can give you some intel. Right now, Upper Lorraine is just sitting in Lothringen. So if you wanted to, you could go smash their army, as long as there's no reinforcements around. Well, I'm resieging. Uh, Savoy's provinces here and my provinces. Right. I'm gonna have to pause real quick. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. I just gotta figure out exactly what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take these provinces. Is what I'm thinking. I don't have any claims, right? No. Okay. So in that case, what we're gonna do is people on my end. We're gonna go ahead and take this one, probably Viscaya or Cantabria. Let's see which one. Viscaya. This game is actually really loud, though. <laughs> hmm? Yes, this will work. Fabricate on Vizcaya. Okay, claim has been fabricated. Conquer Cuenca will be our mission. And I am about to go to war. I guess one of those countries I'm at war with has a... Probably has an idea that gives them... That the is probably likely. Um, and it could also be... Did you lose any prestige? Uh, yeah. That prestige I lost does... prestige from, the, from claiming the throne. Yeah, so prestige uh, impacts morale. Not a whole bunch, but it does have an impact. Yeah. So um, if you're negative, it has a negative effect. If you're positive, it has a positive effect. So, um, By the way, so mm -hmm. my first allies that I made were... Um, we can unpause now. I, I should be good to just steamroll Castile as well. But... Um, but my... They have no forts, except for their capital. Huh. I'm glad to hear it. Um, so my first allies are Portugal and the, the Jamalids. Uh, because okay. I decided that that would be good. I don't know. I just figured Portugal is rivaled to both Castile and Leon, so I'd be, I figured it'd be good to have them. I'll back some of eventually, but mm -hmm. for now, I think it's good. And, Where are uh, going? And stuff. And then also, uh, oh, Jamalids are Mediterranean. I don't really want to attack them right now, so I figured they'd be good for their ships, yeah. and their boats, and stuff. Aust Austria is going to unsiege my province in Aachen. That's very nice of them. Yeah, just keep Austria. in mind that sieges mean nothing really unless it's a fort. They do. They right. they drive up war exhaustion, but they don't count for war uh, war score. Right. I mean, I know that, but like, it's the war exhaustion I'm concerned about. Mm hmm. Yes. As far as war's exhaustion is concerned, though... Plus, they make money off their siege provinces. Really, Castile? You're going to attack me? It's hills, I guess, but still, 22 against Wait, 9 doesn't oh, seem like you're going to win. Savoy snuck an army all the way around to my fucking land? Those bitches. Castile, what How are you trying they? to do, man? They did, Castile just stack-wiped themselves. Nice. They literally actually, ran a stack so of their deck. I actually just saw that exact thing happen. Um, yeah. Somebody... Walked a one, um, whatever, one a no, one stack into my army and stack life themselves. I didn't understand. And right, we gotta pause real quick because I gotta turn on my international keyboard settings okay. to name the first heir. What will he be named? Can you tell me? What? You can't uh, do it. You can't do some... it in this game. 
What no! can you not do? You can't do the C with the thing under it. Pawns! Oh, no! Pawns! pawns. Just, call them, just put an E at the end. Yeah, pawns. I guess that works. It's not the same, though. You yeah. don't need that C anyway. You don't speak Catalan or <laughs> You're French right. or... Yeah. Fine. I'm pawns. pretty sure that letter doesn't exist in Spanish. It does not. Uh, you are correct. I mean, you're clearly, like, Aragonese, but... Well, no, I'm Catalan. Right, same thing. <laughs> well, not technically, but... You know, Austria, are you going to come help me smash Lo Savoy? I would appreciate it. Oh, you could help me siege um, whoever this is, Swabia as well. I mean, either way, either way you want. Don't you mean right. Swabia? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, I can just go and siege. All right, well, they're going to be like 100%. Uh, I guess I'm using my stack to scare them off, which is fine. Yeah, I, do I... wish my capital fort was strong enough to automatically unsiege things, but, you know, whatever. Oh, is it only level one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. No, Austria, you do not come into this province with me. It is too <laughs> many people. Oh, by the way, the time went off like five minutes ago, but we'll go a little... Okay. I mean, we should probably end now, but like, it's okay that we went over, because it's the yeah. first episode of U4. It's time to celebrate. I don't know where Savoy's army went. Oh, there it is. Anywho. All right, cool. Does that sound good? Yeah. yeah. Yo, you know what's really good, by the way? Hmm. I think that the Aztecs are not going to be as hard as we think, because like... France is already right now sieging them down, and I, I think yeah, I mean, they're gonna have trouble. They, like you know, they are split on like so three different continents. <laughs> I'm pretty sure their entire army starts in Mexico. Yeah, they have a twelve stack that I can see on my borders fighting France or okay. about to. But they, they might have. But like the bulk of their army is in Mexico, so they yeah. have to ship it. Yeah, all exactly. The way over. That takes time, and like since the war started a couple months after the game starts. They, they definitely have a big fleet, though. They have 10 heavies. Yeah. Jeez. They probably have one of the biggest fleets in the world. Yeah. No, they do. I looked on the ledger because uh, <laughs> I'm a cheater. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode here, though. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe to both of our channels to get a different perspective. You know, watch watch Jack if you want to see HRE things. Watch me if mm -hmm. you want to see Spanish things. Either way, we'll watch see you guys. Watch me if you want to uh... see someone be frustrated by this game. <laughs> But yeah, but either way, um, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye.